जयपुर गया कोटा कृपया ध्यान आपको अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन एट द टेन ओवर मार्क पंजाब वो सेलिंग स्मूथली जॉय दा वो सिंगिंग पंजाबी सॉन्ग्स बट आई डोंट थिंक एनी वन वॉज रेडी for nitish kumar reddy's storm uh, he's helped uh, them reach 182 runs 64 of 37 abdul samad got 25 of 12 arshdeep the pick of the bowlers 4 for 29 in his four 182 on this pitch uh, is this going to be enough or not let's find out from simon and joyda uh, simon this pitch joyda was just talking about how this looks like a good Good score on a pitch like this. Yeah, I think so. And and you saw some of the slower balls holding a little bit from Harshal. So I I think it's it's probably ballpark. It, it it's right in amongst it. Um, bat really well. You can knock the total off. And I I think if uh, they come out and bowl nicely, pick up a couple of early wickets, put this Punjab side uh, under some pressure. There's every chance they can defend this sort of total. It's there seems to be one quite short side, uh, as far as the boundaries are concerned. Keep away from that. I I think it's a Not sure which camp I'm sitting in at the moment. To be <laughs> honest, I, I think it's fairly even, Stevens. Mm-hmm. But Joy, the 182 at the com box we did together, we could not have seen this coming. It's just so good to see another young Indian, 20-year-old from Andhra, come and do what he's done. Absolutely, Nitish Kumar Reddy was absolutely fantastic as our producer said. Electoral season, election season, Nitish Kumar <laughs> doing well. You know, India <laughs> Indians know all about it. But this Nitish is from Andhra Pradesh, not Bihar, and. Uh, fantastic not just him i mean just the strike rate with which he played the way he waited uh, tripathi was supposed to get going tripathi didn't get going and then he took over himself mm-hmm. and then him and abdul samad they played an absolute peach of a partnership but what this does tell you exactly is what the current t20 cricket is about you had two people hitting at about 200 in the middle mm-hmm. who got a 50 run partnership in 30 balls that just changed the match they changed the way or uh, not not 30 balls 20 balls yeah. and it just changed the way the match was played and suddenly they go up to you know 182 and you wouldn't have thought this yes. they were 64 odd in 10 overs yeah. for four 182 under those circumstances was absolutely spectacular and it's these two who did it for them But you know what is it about uh, net bowlers from CSK? <laughs> It's just that they keep producing these <laughs> gems. You know, they pick them up. No one had shown interest, and then he went for twenty in the auction, just twenty lakhs. Again, a talent that just you know IPL gives you these gifts. But it's again CSK and their net bowlers. There's some story there <laughs> always, isn't there? Well, we say it all the time, don't we? They, they've got a good eye for talent. And I think that certainly shines through. No matter where they go, um, they, they find the right sort of talent. They find the right sort of player. They see something in players that um, they obviously like. And uh, but I think most of the teams are like that now. I think most of the teams have got pretty good, smart scouts around the country. And the level of talent in and around the Said Mushtaq Ali and in the domestic scene is is so high. If you are good enough, you will get spotted now, and this by any one of these teams with all the scouts that are out there and about. You know, this one point I want to make, which is that what is happening now in the IPL is you're seeing players who are you know domestic players who have done well in before in this IPL. Uh, Rahul Tripathi is a good example. Yes. Mayank Agarwal is a good example. They've all done well before in the IPL, but now they have the weight of expectations yeah. on them. Mm. Okay. these young kids are coming in and they're not necessarily young they're young experienced inexperienced in terms of the ipl and they're coming in they have nothing to lose they're going in all guns blazing i mean what nitish kumar did today yeah. the most important part of it was something he mentioned right up front fearlessness yeah. of the way they are playing yeah okay and i think that is what makes it so important mm. the other is abdul samad who we always see as somebody who every year they pick him and you say you know he's never going to make more than 25 30 yeah but perhaps making a 25 at the rate he did today is a game changer for them yeah i didn't i, I don't agree with the tripathi mm-hmm. impact thing if rahul tripathi doesn't open the batting he is no use to that team and and i'm you know it might sound a little disrespectful but he he struggles against spin and coming in at that time of the order even though they were in trouble It just they've wasted a resource. They are they are a bowler light now, I think in their in their bowling light or a, an, another specialist bowling option mm-hmm. light, because they they've played the wrong card 
They really have. And they haven't made too many mistakes this year yet, Hyderabad, but I think that was a really poor decision to bring him in through the middle overs. They know he doesn't play spin well. If he doesn't open the batting, then he's just got no business being in that side. You know, which is what makes uh, Nitish's knock stand out so much yeah. more because if you look at the batting card, it was not a very Hyderabad-like batting card. Uh, there was Head who got off with the start, got off with the start. Abhishek Sharma got off to six, got out on sixteen, and then you know we saw Rahul Tripathi struggle. So mm -hmm. Nitish Reddy had to go for it, and he was attacking from the word go. And and why is class and batting at six? I mean, yes. how how your impact sub? comes in ahead of Heinrich Klaassen. It just astounds me. We've been quite high praise of, of Daniel Vittori and Pat Cummins and, and, and their setup so far, but they've had a blunder. It's a massive blunder today in my book. I just don't, I, I don't understand that one. Joy, do you think they were holding Klaassen back just to hold him I for a little exactly later? Exactly my innings? point. But the yeah. point is Klaassen plays at you know four and five for South Africa. I mean, he's not a yes. he's not a, just a hit and miss batsman. No. If the batsman they were holding back was Abdul Samad, I can understand. Mm -hmm. This is class and we are talking about yeah. possibly at this point in time one of the two best 220 batters in the world. Why are you not giving him? He, he can play 30 overs. What does he play in the World Cup? He plays in a 50 over match in the World Cup. He goes in the what? Mm. 10th over, 12th over sometimes, 7th over sometimes, 15th over. What are we talking about? And my point is that exactly they could have taken, they could have put class in up front, yeah. taken that chance. Okay. Then if class in didn't come off, okay, put in another batsman. Okay. Sub out, yeah. put in another batsman. But why do it now? But use your resources up. I mean, you're not bringing a, an Andre Russell into the side. You, you, yes. you know, with all due respect, use your batting resources up. If he has to come in as an impact sub at number seven or eight, I, I may understand it. Yeah, I, I may get a fallen But drop use your batting resources first and foremost. He's come in far too early. And they've, they've pulled the, you know, they've pulled the ripcord way too early, I think. You let Klaassen come in. You let Samad come in. You might even let Pat Cummins come in. Mm -hmm. At, at, you know, go out and try and attack it. And if you get to the 17th, 18th over, then he's not required. And then you have a genuine bowling oh, no. option to come into your side. It just, look, as I said, they haven't made too many mistakes, but I just think they got that one completely wrong. Might still come out and win. Mm -hmm. No issue. It's not, I'm not saying they're going to lose the game because of that. But they're a bowler down now than what they could have been after, you know, introducing impact sub far too early, I Totally think. agree. We'll have a look at uh, Punjab's bowling card because, uh, like I said, the first 10 overs, they did everything right. Arshdeep is uh, going to sleep happily tonight because when you get, give away only 29 runs, pick up those four wickets. So, even Rabada, we spoke about how he bowled really well. The figures might not really justify the way he bowled. Uh, we spoke a lot about Harpreet Brar, but he got knocked <laughs> around for quite a few sixes today. No, no, I think this, I think the way Nitish Radhi went after Harpreet was brilliant and he hit him on both sides yes. of the wicket, which is absolutely incredible. You know, once you start hitting on the offside of the wicket, automatically you change the bowler's line because then if you, he knows you can, he can, you can, he can hit inside out, then he's really worried about it. And I think I love the way they batted. But again, what is, uh, you know, how much of a factor, why are cricketers superstitious? Rabada first ball gets a nick, nobody <laughs> calls it, okay? Goes for the next over, you know, beautiful delivery, French cut just past the stumps. Goes for 20 in his two, completely unrewarded. This is what happens. And you have to feel for him because he yes. bowled beautifully yeah, at the start. He, he bowled absolutely beautifully. And I think that's what it did. Arshdeep, today he's got four wickets. There are days he's bowled much better when he hasn't got hasn't wickets. Gotten. I thought he had a great first over. Uh, he was brilliant when he took those two wickets, Markram. And, mm -hmm. But after that, it's he's been okay. Mm. But talking about Rabada and that opening uh, over, Simon, the ball was doing quite a bit. It was moving around quite a bit. Even for Ashdeep, it was moving around quite a bit. And then the it wasn't really coming onto the bat. The slower cutters mm. were working very well. So it looks like this pitch is not so easy to bat on. No, and I, I think that tells us that the power play can be quite crucial if the ball's coming on. But if it's swinging a little bit mm. and doing a little bit, then it, it makes it a little tough as well. So, you know, they're going to have to be careful. It's not a chase where they have to go all guns blazing in that power play. A 50 to 55 run power play without losing a wicket or losing only one would probably suffice in a chase of, of 183. Uh, but there was enough movement for Rab And I just love seeing him with the brand new ball, <laughs> honestly. I mean, that is another situation. Joy and I were sitting in the green room talking about it. Just he, He's got to bowl with that brand new ball because he produces deliveries that can get good players out. OK, they didn't go up for the appeal. Yeah. You know, when Travis Head nicked one behind, they've missed out there. But he's bowled really, really well for, for figures to look like they do. 
He's, he's bowled beautifully up front. So more of that, I think, from Punjab. And we've just put the Crick Buzz curse on poor old Harpreet, haven't we? I, <laughs> I think I picked him last night as well in, um, player in the post-game. Player to watch out for. I was all over him. He's going at 5.69 ah. in the tournament. Come on, Harpreet. <laughs> and he just goes and gets bonged out of the park. But, <laughs> hey, that happens. It does happen. But, Dorda, Arshdeep is someone who, you know, He's shown so much potential and then he's been tagged a little inconsistent because we've spoken about how he's not lived up to his potential. So sometimes for a bowler, you need just something like this to get that confidence. Yeah, you need well. sometimes confidence, luck. I mean, the other thing, and I, I spoke to, about this before to Simon, that he bowls so well. He has so much control. He has so many weapons. And Simon, sometimes he uses, tries to use too many of them, yeah. experiments mm. a bit too much. You yeah. were talking about Yeah, him. absolutely. Just just overuses it. I, I'd love to see him just settle in. And I think he settled in a little bit more to the lefties because he had two lefties at the top. Yes. So he just settled in trying to take the ball away from the left-handers. Uh, at the back end, I, the strategy at the back end for him was brilliant. You know, I talk so much about setting your fields and bowling to the fields accordingly. He had a deep backward point, or almost a, a wide-ish third. He had a cover point on the boundary, he had a long off on the boundary, and he's bowling wide and, and trying to bowl wide Yorkers. He picked up the wicket, uh, was it Abdul Samad, I think he picked up, mm -hmm. caught it deep backward point. Bowling to your field, using the bigger side of the ground. There was just a lot of smarts about what he did today. And, and I think about what uh, Shikha did as well in, in, in the field set and what he's asking him to do. So much better performance. But, you know, it's a fickle game, isn't it, this T20 cricket? And some days you're going to go the distance. Yeah. Some days you're not. Uh, as long as you stick to your plans and think about what you're doing and set the fields accordingly, you'll still go the distance some days. But more often than not, you might have a little bit more success. But also just, you know, we've spoken about this. We've spoken about the tickets that are being handed out by Michael, not so much by Simon <laughs> and uh, the travel agent who's stuck in between Simon and Michael. This is playing on Arshdeep's head, of course, because the third seamer, there is no Shami. So he knows the conversations, which direction they are going. So he needed a game like this because can't use the M word. I think I think he definitely needed a game like this and he got it and I think if he settled down, he's important because who is the other left-arm seamer that we have? I mean, the only other left-arm seamer that has in right now is Khalil Ahmed, right? Is there anyone else? I don't Mukesh think... Chaudhary, Mukesh Chaudhary. Mukesh, but Mukesh had a horror first a, match. Had a bad first match. There's not a lot of high-quality left-arm seamers going Most around. Injured. Most yes. in, yeah. uh, India. There's a, a, a plethora of right-arm seamers, but... You know, some of which are still just probably a little bit below where your Boomeras and Shamis and Sirajas are. But I think for a point of difference in that World Cup side, you want a left armour. So you, you, you want Ashdeep to be bowling well because he's the guy that's been there, done it. He's had opportunities. He's had success. So he kind of knows what to expect. I don't think you want to be taking too many freshies. Hmm. Uh, you know, so I think he, I, look, I think he's got, yeah, got a half a boarding pass. <laughs> Half if there is such a thing. Pass. If there's such a thing. Yeah. If there is such a thing. <laughs> Half a boarding pass. Uh, you know, we spoke about Rahul Tripathi and how you were not happy mm. with him getting in as an impact sub. Let's have a look at the impact uh, sub list uh, if we can. Because now that Tripathi has been subbed in, you know, you have Mayank Markande, you have a Washington, Washington Sundar. Yeah, yeah that's so, what I mean. Yeah. Uh, that's why it made no sense to me to, to use that resource so early. It just... I don't know what they were thinking. I'd love to know. I'd love the question to be asked at um, at the post match. No matter what happens, you know what was the thought process about getting Tripathi in early? You know, uh, they're not going to say, "Look, you know, he's just really an opening batter." If the ball's not coming out of the bat, yes. he, he struggles. So they don't any longer have that opportunity to pick Markande or to pick Washington Sunda uh, or to change their bowling attack up a little bit. So they're stuck with what they've got, um, and those guys are now going to have to bowl really well. I have one more question. Uh, Washington Sundar has opened the batting for India. And yeah, and those sixes, and no, he, no, no sixes he, he easy. He can bat, he can bowl also. He's going to give you more options. Yes. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult call under the circumstances to understand. But, but uh, that, that's exactly it. So use your resources mm. and then bring Washi in at eight or nine, yeah. because at least then you, you're still getting some power. He's a good batter. Yeah, he's, he's a really good cricketer. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And so then you've got that option of of a, of a spin bowler few left-handers uh, in the mix, so in the opposition side. So you have that other option. It's just, yeah, look, time will tell whether it's it, it, it's completely wrong and they lose the game. They may still win, as I said, but I, I still think they, they just pulled the old ripcord just a touch early on that one. Oh, well, Arshdeep uh, has had a very good day. 
along with Arshdeep, there's somebody else who's had a very good day. We have to applaud for the man. Joy Bhattacharya oh, okay. is now on the board with, I don't know, two points. So I don't know how the yeah. maths works. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm creepy. I'm you're on the creepy. right yeah. side at least. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, 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 in the, you're, you're in the Premier League. You're not in the first division like me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm down in the first division now with Vaughny and it's not it's not a good look. But you're in the Premier League. You're all right. At the moment, as I said, this is fickle and you're going to go home tomorrow and then sit and wait for I'll to I'll go make home mistakes. and make, wait for GK to make his mistakes. <laughs> but I think, Simon, now I think you need to go for it because we need you to move also onto the first class side. Need to be in the Premier yeah, League. The yeah, the Premier League. Mm. So... The power play prediction. Uh, as I, I said it earlier, I don't think they need to go guns blazing. Uh, so I'll stick with what I think I said, 55. You said 55, 55. yeah. Hmm. Oh, you're letting me go? <laughs> yeah, 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 go wow, the winner's got confidence now under no, his no belt confidence. saying... Over to you, man. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to go with then 47. Ooh, okay, then I might as well go up. We don't have much options. 63. So there's a little bit of spacing. Space. Okay. He's playing like a team. We like that. Yeah, yeah. We like that. We know that uh, See, the best is GK to watch and Harsha. <laughs> GK and Harsha. Harsha just, they, you know about this voodoo doll that Harsha carries. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure he's also keeping tab and seeing who's gone where. Oh, yeah. But uh, like Joyda has been this nice senior statesman who's given everyone enough and more space uh, to have some kind of, you know, margin of error yes. and victory. So let's uh, wait and watch because uh, uh, there is Johnny Besto and uh, there's Shikhar Dhawan who's out there booby with the new ball. Uh, so it's going to be exciting to see this 182 chase because this pitch, like both of them said, doesn't look like the most batter-friendly pitch. Uh, we will see you at the 10 over point uh, for more updates. Thank you, Joyda. Thank you, Simon. We'll go have our dinner and we'll see you at the Crick Bus Combox. <laughs> Jaipur, Gaya, Kota, Kripya Thana, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Aapka, Swagat, Lucknow Junction, Nilsanada, Kadigir, Kharagir, Varay, Delhi, 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 Del